Radtail RT950 Pro model. We're on the Radtail website and down here you need the correct CPS for the Pro model which is that's the programming software which is here CPS and it's ending 1.05. Click that and run it and when you open it it looks like this and then you're going to need to connect your cable. Now I've had to sort of tinker around a bit with my cable because it wasn't a very tight connection to be honest and because you take the side off here and then this screws in and I had to shave off some of the plastic to make it hold tight because it does have to push tight against the, the th three gold pins that you see underneath otherwise it, it just doesn't take but anyway it's in there and once we got it in there then we just went here like so setting serial port com3 clicked ok and then we read and it read straight away once i once i knew it was connecting and it is actually the same cable as the alance hd1 ha1 uv it's basically one of those types or almost like a dmr cable i would say so it's reading and writing fine to change channels you just click on the channel there and let's put one in 434.550 that's my hubnet node and put it in again 34.550 and then a, a tone of 77 and a name which is just to put at the end there hubnet i mean it's a beautiful radio and here let's do a repeater 145.600 night i'll put in all my APRS settings as well because obviously it's got APRS 145.000 so that's one that's GB3WR tone I only put tone on transmit I never have put it on receive and the name GB3WR and then you, you choose your power and you you can choose AM but that's receive okay and that's how you add a repeater obviously there's a vast array of settings at the top we've got edit go down to APRS info here <clears throat> and this is where you're going to start adding turning on your APRS for one GPS is turned on and it does have Bluetooth programming <clears throat> so let's just get what can we get in there I did all this with my <laughs> with my other one I might copy the settings off that call sign there you go M0FXB uh, da, 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 wide one and two I always choose SSID five if you choose GPS for your position it won't transmit until you put that position in I'm oh, sorry sorry till it has a GPS lock um, have a look at APRS Parade Police what's that uh, let's put in I don't know we put a red cross you want to put in something like mobile DX cluster okay got some interesting choice there boy scouts <laughs> there it is GPS position if you put fixed then that way it won't have to have a GPS lock I'm gonna put GPS for now and APRS decode prompt tone I, I like that on APRS pop up of course for when you receive on uh, manually send for now you can set a button uh, p p1 button is it or p2 timed beacon i'll change that to about five if we do that off duty tnc this is something i definitely want to learn about um aprs forwarding routing aprs wait so yeah quite advanced aprs settings in there keep that in there so write that back to the radio for now and then we're going to look at the firmware to so go back to the radtel site you can see that's gone in fine we're actually in the sort of cb work mode um i'll flick that back over to because i don't want to do cb in this video uh, but it does transmit on cb so further down you've got the firmware and the latest one is 1 1.18 and the one i got in there is 1.16 so there's the firmware just in my downloads just there firmware loader so we're going to double click now you want to disconnect the software because it might clash with the com 
to just go file and exit on that. Cancel there, file, and then quit just to make sure. Then we've got the software here. You can see it's version uh, 0, 018. You've got instructions there. Double click the XE to open up the, the firmware loader. More, run anyway. So it's we're going to click the red one. Now there's instructions there that if it all goes wrong, um, you can press this. Have a look now. Upgrade mode, turn on power, click the upgrade button, wait for completion. Uh, flashing mode, turn off the power while holding down side keys three and four and turn on. So what we do to get into firmware mode, we're going to just turn the radio around like this. Turn off. Press the two small black buttons and they're not the PTTs. Press them both. Make sure you hear them click and turn on. And it now says update. Okay. Then we go at the top here and click the, the firmware. Make sure we get the right one. So I've got a few on here. Uh, let me just put it somewhere to make sure I get the 18 one. 